Hi, I'm Henrik Fodell, I'm the Tools Manager at NXP, and right now I want to show you one of the dual-core demos that we brought with us to Design East in Boston. This demo is using an LPC47 dual-core part, and it's basically what the application is doing is that it's generating a lot of ADC interrupts and servicing them, so we're creating a lot of load on the core that is handling the ADC interrupts. Right now, as you can see, it's the uh, Cortex-M4 core that is handling all the interrupts, while the Cortex-M0 core is basically doing nothing, it's just sitting there idle. I can generate some ADC noise by rubbing my finger on the ADC pads here on the board just so that you can see that you know, we are actually sampling the ADC, uh, the ADC values. So what the demo is intended to show you is just how useful it is to have a second core to uh, free up processing power on the main core from mundane tasks such as taking care of uh, the ADC sampling. When I press this button, I move the ADC interrupts over to the Cortex-M0 core and as a result, you see that the, uh, the load on that core went up substantially while I freed up a lot of processing power on the Cortex-M4. The load on the Cortex-M4 does not go all the way down to zero because the Cortex-M4 core is the one that is doing uh, all the graphics for this demo. The graphics was made using Sager's MWIN library, which is free for use for all LPC parts. For more information, you can visit nxp.com or you can go to our YouTube channel, lpczone.com, where you can find more videos that show off the uh, demos that we brought with us to Design East in Boston. Thank you.